Charged paint on a plastic sphere. A charged paint is spread in a very thin, uniform layer over the surface of a plastic sphere of diameter d equals 12 centimeters, giving it a charge Q of minus 49 microcoulombs. Find the electric field just inside the paint layer, just outside the paint layer, and L equals 5 centimeters outside the surface of the paint layer. So here we have the plastic sphere that is coated with uh, uniformly with this uh, thin layer of paint. And we're going to consider two Gaussian surfaces, one inside and one outside with radius R, R less than capital R and R greater than capital R to answer these questions. And uh, because of this charge distribution here, you can see that the electric field will be pointing radially outward from the uh, paint. And uh, we will see that the area vector and the electric field vector are parallel to each other. Okay, so let's start with inside the paint for R, the radius of our a Gaussian surface less than capital R, the closed surface integral E dot dA, the total flux, is equal to electric field times 4 pi R square because the electric field is uh, going to be radially outward and the uh, surface area of a sphere is 4 pi R square. This is charge enclosed divided by epsilon zero, Q in divided by epsilon zero. But for this Gaussian surface, we don't have any charge inside. All the charge resides at the surface of the sphere so that we will have zero as the total flux. Therefore, we conclude that the electric field for R less than capital R must be zero. There is no charge enclosed. For R greater than capital R, R greater than capital R, uh, we can write the same thing, Gauss law, closed surface integral E dot dA, that's the total flux through this closed surface, is uh, electric field in R hat direction, area vector 4 pi R square in R hat direction. So that product gives me E times 4 pi R square. Electric field comes out of this integral because it's only a function of R. So at a certain uh, R value, well, well, basically this is going to be uh, E times 4 pi R square. Uh, so this is going to be charge enclosed Q divided by epsilon zero. So at a certain R, we have a constant electric field magnitude. Okay, and the total charge enclosed is capital Q here. So I see that the electric field magnitude for R greater than capital R should be equal to uh, one over four pi epsilon zero, one over four pi epsilon zero, Q divided by R square in R hat direction. Now, depending on the sign of this Q, this could be minus R hat direction, which is basically the case here. So here I've considered a positive charge distribution to start with. And uh, for just outside the paint uh, layer, for R is equal to or R is equal to R plus, the answer doesn't change. Uh, so we have electric field just outside. It's going to be the same because the uh, in that case, you would have this Gaussian surface. It will be enclosing all of this charge again. Uh, so it's going to be R equals R plus is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. Coulomb constant, Q over R square in R hat direction. Now let's start answering these questions numerically and find the exact uh, direction here. So in part A, inside the uh, 
sphere. The sphere has diameter d, so we are inside the sphere, so r is less than d over 2. The electric field is 0 newtons per coulombs. according to our analysis. In part B, uh, we want to know electric field just outside R is equal to D plus over 2. This is equal to <coughs> uh, KQ over R square. So that's going to be KQ divided by d square over 4, that is r square. So that means the electric field at r is equal to d plus over 2, just outside, is 4 k q divided by d square in r hat direction. <clears throat> That's what we find. But now we can substitute the numbers here. Uh, d is equal to 12 centimeters, 12 times 10 to minus 2 meters. Q, the charge is minus 49 coulombs minus 49 times 10 to minus 6 coulombs so if we substitute these numbers electric field for r is equal to d plus over 2 is minus 9 times 10 to 9 that is coulombs constant 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 times 49 times 10 to minus 6 divided by 12 times 10 to minus 2 square multiplied by 4, 4 kq over d square in r hat direction. <clears throat> so the answer becomes electric field just outside is r equals d plus over 2 is 1.22 times 10 to 8 newtons per coulombs in minus r hat direction. So that's basically uh, in minus r hat direction. Uh, because the charge is negative, it will be pointing towards the center of the sphere. In part C, uh, we want to know the electric field at a certain distance L outside the surface. So R is equal to L plus D over 2. It's going to be uh, the same answer here, uh, KQ over R square in R hat direction. So we will have K capital Q divided by L plus D over 2 parentheses squared in R hat direction. And L is given as 5 centimeters, 5 times 10 to minus 2 meters. So if we substitute the numbers here, electric field at R is equal to L plus D divided by 2 is going to be 9 times 10 to 9 Coulomb's constant times minus 49 10 to minus 6 Coulomb's divided by 5 times 10 to minus 2 plus 6 times 10 to minus 2 parentheses squared d over 2 is 6 centimeters in r hat direction and if i 
calculate this electric field at R is equal to L plus D over 2 becomes 3.64 times 10 to 7 newtons per coulombs in minus r hat direction because the charge is negative. This is going to be our final answer. Okay, so in this problem, uh, we have an application of Gauss law. We have a plastic sphere, plastic sphere, therefore it's insulating. Insulating sphere is coated with a uniform, a thin uniform layer of paint, uh, and it gives it a charge of minus 49 microcoulombs. Uh, where we know the diameter of the sphere, the radius of the sphere is D over two. Uh, just inside the paint layer, uh, or inside the paint layer, uh, if we take a Gaussian surface R less than capital R, we will be enclosing no charges. Therefore, since the charge enclosed is zero, the flux is zero, according to Gauss law, electric field dot product with the area vector, area vector is, uh, for example, if I show it here, the area vector is going to be this vector, which is which has magnitude four pi r square, uh, and it will be pointing radially outward in all directions. So this is also the area vector. And since we have a spherical charge distribution, it's going to be radially outward electric field or radially inward electric field. If I have positive charge Q, it will be radially outward. But since there is no charge enclosed inside the sphere, for R less than R, capital R, we have zero electric field. For R greater than capital R, we're enclosing this total charge Q. So that product of electric field with area at a distance R is electric field multiplied with 4 pi r squared because they are parallel to each other. Electric field is only a function of r. It comes out of the integral as a constant and integral dA gives us 4 pi r squared. So the dot product is e times 4 pi r squared. That is q over epsilon 0 and uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 is Coulomb's constant k. So it's kq over r squared in r hat direction. And the answer doesn't change if we are just outside, because if we're just outside, we will be also enclosing all of this charge. So if we substitute the numbers here, we see that electric field inside, just inside is zero. Electric field uh, just outside is 4kq over d squared in r hat direction. But since q is negative, it is in minus r hat direction. And for a distance of 5 centimeters from the surface, it is 3.64 times to 7 newtons per coulombs in minus r hat direction. So you can see that as I move away from the surface, the electric field drops as expected.